Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. But yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Borderlands 2. And before we push on with the main quest line data mining, um, after which we complete, we're going to take a huge jump in levels. I think the last quest um, is rated at level 30 or 31. So yeah, we got to get ready for that. So let's level up a bit. Let's do some side missions. I got me a whole to-do list. First of all, we got a whopping 48 iridium to spend. I know exactly what I want to spend it on. Let's go spending at Earl's. Hey Earl, what you want? Why not you bought something yet? Why not you bought something yet? I wish I could talk like him all the time. I'm gonna buy me some rockets. Rockets, rockets. Anybody ask? You found that. Uh, let's do that twice. <laughs> Thanks for the iridium jump. And let's get some more blow-up shit. Let's get some extra grenades. Yes, there we go. You found that. And well, save the core. Great. Next. Um, I feel tested a lot of these weapons. This look very promising, but it's too weak. Um, this actually has a higher DPS than my my current shotgun, the double loving pounder. But as far as performance, um, even though it has a higher DPS, the double loving pounder just totally rocks. I don't know what it is, but it's just got the right combination of everything, so don't need two shotguns. Um, Pounder Superior, keep that. Between these two, this has a higher DPS, but it suffers from a serious um, low accuracy. I, I just found that like, it wavers too much. I really didn't like the way it's just, you see that? I don't know. I found that really affected. Um, this is a, it's like it has a lower DPS, but it's it's much more steady. Yeah, so. Yep, it's not all about numbers. Gotta field test these babies. So that one goes, it looked very promising, but um, yeah. And that's about it. The extended, the DVA, and the bilateral. Selling all those, let's go sell them. And that's right. Okay, and I want this guy as my sniper. What else? I want, uh... I want to swap these two. There we go. Just like that. Okay, that's about it. Um, respec. I put a point into... Chain reaction, which is excellent for controlling mobs, but at this point, one point into chain reaction is really not going to do much good. So until we get like four or five points to spend on chain, re chain reaction, let's put those points into sweet release instead. So let's respec. It'll cost us a couple thousand bucks. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Get all our points back. There you go. One there. Uh, two into sweet release. And five in the foresight, five in the flicker, five in the helios, definitely down there. Get cloud kill and five in the reaper. There's that's that's all our points spent. Spent rather. Um, I want to stash uh, the longbow Tesla, I believe. Don't need this. Let's go stash it. And there's always time for a rid rock run at Patty's place. Sweet. That's one. Sorry, a little bit of business here. Out of the way, Patty. Coming through. Important people coming through. All right. Longbow Tesla. Table you for a later date. And that's it. Explain it to me. Again. Let me just make sure my loadout is the way I want it. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. And that's correct. That's our human loadout. If we get accosted by buzzers, which we will, um, I'll switch the sniper rifle for this, and I'll switch the third slot for this resolute Vladov corrosive assault rifle. All right. What's this? This. Not belong in my inventory. Get, get out of here. Get, get out of my inventory. 
Hey, hey Brick. Okay, now let's go get the mission, the good, the bad, and the Mordecai, which can be found at the Sanctuary Bounty Board. Leave the other one alone. I lost the second prize to Jack, and the first to a thief named Carson. <sighs> I don't care if I never see those guns again, but if you want them, just find Carson in the dust. Alright, it's off to the dust we go. We're going to a place called Goose's Roost. Which just happens to be the location of another mission we can pick up at Ellie's. Too close for missiles to pick up this mission back here. Seems to arrive at Ellie's. Go out, talk to this gentleman here. Goose! Goose! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm in the danger zone, man. My buddies kicked me out of their gyro squad, and now they're celebrating with a round of psycho head volleyball. Psycho head volleyball. Steal their balls and burn their net. Steal their balls? Oh, their volleyballs. Right. Okay. Of course. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Goose's Roost is that location that you can only get by launching yourself off that kind of rocky ramp there. I'll show you. So let's get a vehicle. Tell you what, let's deploy one. Deploy two. Go to vehicle two. Come on, a girly screen, girly screen, girly screen. Sweet! I don't know, in practice friends, she always does this kind of like girly scream when she's, she takes a jump, you know, get catches some big air. She goes, ah! I haven't been able to do, get her to do that. Okay, so you jump off here. Oh, that was a good one. You really are a cowboy. Now snag those volleyballs and get some jet fuel. Okay, as soon as you get in here, first thing you want to do is work your way back. Uh oh. Let's take care of business here. Okay, I knew something was wrong. Um, singularity and cutting binder. There you go. I saw that. Got you in the sights of my. Oh, no, you Stop. That must have hurt. Yeah. Where is this guy? Get away from the vehicle. Hold it right there. <laughs> my sentiments exactly. Nothing beats the pounder. You hear that? That buckshot just. Yeah, geez, you know what I mean? It's like. Okay, so we're going down there to get the first volleyball. We have to collect four volleyballs and two cans of gas. Let's just clear the way a little bit. Make sure that nothing ruffles our feathers. Okay, good old. Shotgun enema. Hang on, reloading. Okay, that guy was a little too close for comfort. Call that a grenade? That's not a grenade. This is a grenade. <laughs> Apocalypse now. Okay, there should be the first volleyball. And we're on our way. Something's wrong with this loadout. Actually, these should be reversed. 
He's having a shotgun as number two. Okay, now it's correct. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, shiny thing. All right. Let's take the high ground by going up here. At a certain point, we're going to get assaulted by buzzers. When that happens, we're going to boot it down there and take cover in there. Yeah, <laughs> get some corrosive. Hang on, reloading. Okay, I got it. Here they come. Okay. In here, take cover. I hear, I see somebody coming in here. Wait, okay, good. It's all good. <laughs> Calm down, slack. Switch to the buzzard loadout. There we go. Yeah, I know. I'm shooting from the hip. It's actually more effective at times. Uh oh. I hear rockets. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, one down, one to go. And that's all she wrote. Okay, let's see if we can gas up here. A little bit of jump change. Okay, what's going on here? Somebody wants a little Scarlet Raquel. Okay, calm down. Atta boy. Who's a good bad guy? Oh yeah, that's right. Plant, plant. There we go. Okay, we got a chest to collect over there. And our next volleyball and or gas can there. Hang on, beverage break. Ah, that's some good beverage. What are you drinking, Slack? I am drinking an IPA. A Boreal IPA, I believe. Boreal is a microbrewery here in Montreal, Quebec. Either a Boreal or a St. Amboise. Excellent IPA. What's your favorite beer? If you drink beer. If not, what's your favorite relaxing beverage? Okay, so we got some goodies. Next, let's just kind of slip through here. Move on to the next area. Okay, peekaboo. Hey, buddy. Unexpected.
That's it? I know somebody's down there. We can kind of like use the long bull singularity to draw him out. There we go. <laughs> that cheap trick. <laughs> no, really, it's great. Long bull singularities, or pretty much any singularity, you can use it to draw people out of out of cover. Okay, I'm good with that. Let's go up this ramp. Here we go. Got another chest over there. And there's an item to pick up right below us. Get that after we get the chest and take care of some buzzards. Okay, looks good. Close combat weaponry on. Uh, yep. Whee! Here comes the buzzers right away. That's unusual. Okay, this is where you take cover from the buzzards when they come at you. Let's get on the buzzard busters, namely the Dobiki Pushka and. I love that name, Pushka. Sounds like a kind of cake. <laughs> Although I'm sure it's not. Probably means gun or rifle or something like that. No. <laughs> Mayday, Mayday, we're going down. Okay, now, that should be it for the buzzers for a little while. Let's switch back to the human loadout. Okay, who wants a good old fashioned buckshot shampoo? Yeah, yeah. Okay, calm down here, calm down. Everybody calm down. Dude, <laughs> you there? No, not gonna happen. Dude, <laughs> that was left-handed. <laughs> okay, another chest there. Let's get the other one that we couldn't get earlier. Very unusual that you can't, um, I'm always able to loot that chest before the buzzers come along. Okay, we'll look at everything later. Except for that, that looks like another, oh, it's a doll. Damn it. The damage is spectacular on it too. Huh. I, I might field test that, that on some buzzards. It might be pretty good for that, actually. Burst fire. Being a doll, you know, it's always burst fire. Um, okay, uh, let's get this chest here before I forget, and then we'll go back and collect the items for too close for missiles. Looks like a pistol chest, except for that. Another burst fire. Look at the damage on this baby. Jeez. Okay. Gas can here. Have to climb up top to get this. Uh, it's right over there, I believe. Yeah. Up 
here. Right there. Yep, anyway. Uh, yep. Volleyball. Don't worry, we ain't bugging out. And down here, get the final item. And then we can switch over to good, the good, the bad, and the Mordecai. And investigate that clue right there. Okay, first. Somebody wants a shotgun enema. Oh, jeez, one shot at him. One shot at him. Okay, hold up here. Calm down, people. Calm down. Good. Okay, final volleyball. Douse their volleyball net with fuel and nail those sons of bitches. Okay, I thought I heard a buzzard. Be a terrible place. Okay, and now the good, the bad, and the Mordecai. The clue that we came after is right here. Where's the chest, Carson? What was that noise? It sounded like some Hyperion screw trying to pump me for info. Didn't it sound like that, brother? Sure did, brother. Why don't you? Mavis, no! Gettle's after the treasure, too? Crap. He's a Hyperion goon, more bent than a boomerang. He probably took Carson to the Hyperion friendship gulag. More bent than a boomerang. I love that expression. Okay, so back to uh, Too Close for Missiles. Our next objective is to douse the net with gas. And let's get on our human loadout. It is on. Oh, I should have warned you at the beginning. You need a fire weapon for this mission. I should have mentioned that at the beginning. Um, okay, but you're bound to have one in your in your possession somewhere. They me out because they thought I was just some chump. But you're gonna show them. You're gonna show them I am dangerous. Okay, and next we have to set the net, the volleyball net, on fire. I like to take cover up here because three uh, really tough hombres called the shirtless come out. So. Set it on fire. No more sweaty slow motion volleyball for you, jackasses. I got the need, the need to see. Crap, those are the guys who take me out. Blow them away. Hang on, reloading. I <laughs> got him. And the final one. Hold it. That's what I'm talking about. Really splash those suckers. Yeah. Come on back. Yeah, that was good, clean fun. All right. So too close for missiles. Let's go turn it in. Luckily enough, there is a catch right station right over here. Just drop right on down. And use our teleport trick. Teleport to vehicle one and take us back to Ellie's garage. And turn the mission. You can be my wingman. Anytime. And he always gives you a couple of bandit weapons. Bandit machine gun and a bandit SMG. Neither one of them which has any goodies, so... Uh, no, I'm not inter interested, so I'll just take the one that sells for the most, take that one, and that's it. Ta-ta now, see you in the funny papers. Alright, let's go through our goodies. Hmm. I like to field test this. Uh, Bandit SMG with no goodies. That's the one we just got. Um, Malawan pistol. Nothing special there. Jacob's pistol. Fire as fast as you can pull the trigger. Reload speed is fantastic with my reload speed bonus. 
I'm just curious how fast this will re reload. Wait a minute. Oh, it's a doll. I thought it was a. I thought it was a Jacobs. It looks like a Jacobs. Okay, that's out of the question. No, no, no doll. Um. And that is not the TMP that I had earlier, but it looks better than the one I had. Indeed, it is. That is our new Vlado TMP. Welcome to the family. Thank you. You get the red X of death. What do we got here? Look at the reload speed on this. I really don't like Hyperion weapons because of that uh, sustained fire increases accuracy. They're only accurate after you take a few shots, but if you have a good fire rate on a, on a Hyperion pistol, something of like 5 or above, Awesome. This might be useful. I want to field test this. Okay, so you get a star for now. Impress us. We might let you stay on board. What else we got here? This, I definitely want to field test this. Um, no, thank you. TDR, you are so out. Doll, forget it. Malawan, nothing special. Here's the Jacobs as fast as you can pull the trigger. Um, this is like you have to rely on the iron sight. No, I don't think so. Likewise. Bandit shotgun. No, thank you. No, thank you. Hyperion SMG. Uh, not really a big fan of these. And... This the fire rate isn't enough to really counteract that out of like you know that sustained fire increases accuracy thing. What do we got here? A Nova shield? No, thank you. But that was a lot of loot. Okay, everybody should have a star. And you all get a star. Very good. That is it. Coming up next, we're going to push it into the Friendship Gulag. For this. Here on Major Slack Videos. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.